Creating lasting connections is the most important part of the welding processes. Bola Welding offers global product portfolio for all the conventional arc welding processes. And with our best-in-class products, we ensure these lasting connections even in the toughest applications and industries. Bola Welding offers its customers more than just outstanding welding filamental products. Because in practice, all that matters is the perfect welding result and efficient processes. We guarantee this with our industry leading application services. Hi, I'm Abhishek Vyas, Deputy Manager, Application Technology at Postal Pinay Bowler Welding India, along with my colleague Praful Kaldone, Senior Welding Demonstrator, will be taking you through various tips and techniques important for the pipeline welding industry. Let's have a look. In pipeline welding application, a wide selection of manual arc welding electrodes such as cellulosic coated electrodes are used for highly efficient vertical down welding position. Basic coated low hydrogen type electrodes are also used in vertical down or vertical up manner depending upon the pipe grade and application needs. Cellulosic electrodes for example E6010 plays a very important role in bridging the root gap in pipeline welding and with our product Bowler Fox Cell Plus, you can achieve this first time right with complete root penetration. Apart from its excellent welding and gap bridging characteristics, Bowler Fox Cell Plus offers a weld deposit with outstanding impact strength values and thus offers the benefit of still more safety in field welding of pipelines. Before starting to weld the root pass, it is very important to check whether the pipe fit up is correctly done and to ensure this, the checkpoints are correct bevel preparation of the pipe edges, proper root gap, high low alignment in the pipe setup. For root pass, electrode angle should be 80 to 90 degree and it should be welded in stringer mode. Welding current needs to be selected as per the diameter of electrode and same can be seen on the product label. Direct current is used for making root pass with cellulosic electrodes. In order to prevent hydrogen induced cracking, it is necessary to preheat pipes before starting to weld and to maintain an interpass temperature during the welding of individual beads. For the welder, it is very important to keep looking at the keyhole that gets formed behind the electrode and ensure fusion of both the edges. If the keyhole is not seen by the welder, the electrode is not penetrating through to the inside of the pipe. The remedies for this would be higher current, apply more pressure to the welding electrode and slow down your travel speed. If the keyhole becomes too large and difficult to control, the remedies for this would be lower the current, faster travel and apply less pressure on the electrode. In order to prevent lateral slag inclusions seen in the weld radiograph, Slight grinding of the stringer bead is essential. Hot pass is the very next pass after root pass is completed. For hot pass, depending upon the pipe grade, Bowler Foxel 70P or Bowler Foxel 80P can be used. Use of a relatively high welding current is favorable because it gives a good penetration making any remaining slag inclusions remelt and float to the surface while ensuring that the root pass is annealed thoroughly. The hot pass should be welded immediately after deposition of the stringer bead but in no case more than 10 minutes later. This is of special importance for high strength line pipe grades to avoid under bead cracking in the base material. For hot pass in the top and bottom position, 80 to 90 degree angle of the electrode should be used while in vertical position, 40 to 50 degree angle should be used with blowing technique. Filler layers with cellulosic electrodes can be welded with slight weaving. Beads will be sufficiently flat and free from undercut and slag inclusions if the electrode is applied with a slight circular or stepping motion. Weaving of maximum two times the diameter of the electrode is recommended for all the positions. For filler and cap passes in the top and bottom position of the pipe, 80 to 90 degree angle of welding electrode should be used while in vertical position, 60 to 70 degree angle should be used with slight weaving. For high strength pipes such as API X70 and above grades, 
it is preferred to use basic coated vertical down electrodes. The electrode at start gives high current density and welder should keep the arc steady and should not lift it up instantly as it will lead to porosity defects. Current can be selected depending upon the electrode diameter. Slight weaving is always recommended as this prevents short circuiting the arc. Electrodes should be perpendicular to the pipe circumference all around the pipe. While ending the welding arc, it should be smooth and slowly. If the welding is pulled back instantly, it will lead to porosity and convex weld bead appearance. This end point needs to be grinded off before starting the next pass. During overhead position, welder should try to end it at 6 o'clock position and electrode angle should not be too much inclined. The cap is deposited with a slight weaving technique with a maximum view of twice the electrode diameter. In order to achieve higher productivity, gas shielded core wires can be used either in semi-automatic manner or with full automation. For this, seamless core wires from Fostel Pine Bowler Welding are the best choice. These are used for filler and cap passes in the pipeline welding. With these wires, one gets freedom to select welding variables from a wide parameter window without affecting the quality of the weld deposit. These wires are used in vertical up manner. Maintaining the shielding gas flow rate usually between 18 to 25 liters per minute and 15 to 20 mm stick out is very important while using this process. Excellent slack detachability is one of the features that helps reduce post weld cleaning operations and helps improve productivity.